it's been a long time since we posted a video on Windows 10 updates, so we decided to cover the latest build 20190, which is available to the Windows Insider Programs dev channel. To start with, Microsoft started using the channels to distribute the new updates to users. The Fast, Slow, and Release Preview ring are now renamed as Dev, Beta, and Release Preview Channel. Their role is the same, and just the names have been changed. I guess you already knew that. So let's see what's new in the Windows 10 build 20190. Before we start this guide, press that like button and subscribe to our channel. What's new is now opening in tips. When you finish the update with earlier builds, you'll see What's New window in Microsoft Edge. But now you will see the Tips app after completing the upgrade. It is much more elegant and cleaner than Edge. Improved graphic setting experience. Microsoft has changed the graphic settings interface. With this build, you can set a default high performance GPU if you have multiple GPUs on your computer. You can also set it by application level. You can now specify which GPU to use by an app. In my PC, there is only one GPU, so this feature isn't showing here. These are the two significant changes in build 20190. Let's see some other big changes from the previous builds. Let's thank our sponsor Malwarefox for this video. Malwarefox gets rid of hidden malware from your computer. It is a simple yet effective anti-malware software providing protection against adware, spyware, ransomware, keyloggers, and all modern cyber threats. Check the description below to download for free. You can now easily change the DNS address. It is now a top-level option on the network's property page. Microsoft is working on the encrypted DNS controls in the Settings app. Now your DNS will use HTTPS to make connections. It is much secured and enforces privacy. They have introduced it a long while back, but you needed to make changes in the registry to enable it. Now you can set it in the DNS settings for the whole network. Currently, it isn't available for the individual network property, but you will see it in full swing in the upcoming feature update. Microsoft is also improving your phone app. In upcoming updates, you will see more phone app features, like displaying the list of all apps and opening them from your PC. Currently, there are so many bugs in this app. Let's hope that they fix them. If you click on the Start menu, you will notice minor changes. You will see some new icons. The new folder icon is also changed to look better. The Settings icon is new and refreshing. In our previous update video, we talked about Microsoft shifting from control panel to the settings. They moved one step in that direction. With build 20170, you can set the default sound device directly from the settings. Also, you can set volume and device for each app from the sound mixer. These are notable changes happening in Windows 10. You might see these changes in the upcoming feature update 20H2. We will keep updating you, so subscribe to the channel and press the bell button to receive alerts when we do that.